second in traffic, now throwing it uh, to the post, and we're going to have a quick foul on Adam Allen as they move the ball inside to Magna Fiebelstadt, uh, who is a very solid player inside. Nine seconds in, Adam Allen picks up a foul against uh, Barry. Here is the zone, and the shot is up on the inbounds play, and that was way too easy. Barry with uh, the uh, first bucket of Junior the game. Junior Barueto went right to the basket, laid it in, like you said, at the 1940 mark. Tars down 2 nothing. Here's Mitch Woods. Now throws it on the baseline to Blessing. Durkin will jack a three. Got it from the far corner. High arcing three. Yeah, I think that was a big answer right there. Tars got it down. Not a lot of ball movement. Durkin left corner three. Yes, Tars lead by one. 19-20 on the game clock, first half. Ooh, it looked like a travel, and uh, Fiebelstadt got away with it. And driving it is Derek Hill, and inside another easy basket. And this one by Magna Fiebelstadt as they tear up the Rollins zone real easily I like here. how you do that name to Magna Fiebelstadt. Let's see if I can work on that. There's Mitch Woods now, a minute into this one. Top of the key to Yuli. Yuli now to Mitch Woods on the left wing. Now to Allen. Allen will drive. Allen will bank. Allen will not get the roll. Durkin, though. Ooh, uh, Durkin got the offensive board. And That's really a good sign for Rollins off the tough miss by Adam Allen. Just couldn't get it to go. Durkin came in and got a much-needed offensive rebound. We lack in that category for the year, but they got it right there, and they got the foul on your guy, Magna Fiebelstad. They got it on Fiebelstad. Yeah, I didn't see the foul in there. It looked like he got all ball. Durkin had it down low, was going to go up with it, and Fiebelstad fouled him down low on the this, wrist. This is the number one rebounding team in the league, Barry, a plus nine. Not particularly big, but they are very active under Butch Estes. They come There's, out in the zone now out of the uh, out of the inbound pass, does Barry. A lot of teams do that. Here's Allen, works it to Blessing. Blessing, ball faking on the side. Now to Yuli. Yuli sends it over to Blessing. He ball fakes again. And that ball is going to be tipped away from him, and it's going to be into Oh, that ball was tipped away as uh, Brad Preston and so, – check that. Jeffrey Eichholz uh, yeah, killed Jeffrey us Eichholz on that one. Yeah, Jeffrey Eichholz says, no, that's over and back. That ball was tipped. John Connolly and Jeff Eichholz working with Brad Preston. Brad Preston kind of hung his head down low over there. I think he saw it was Yeah, tipped. I think so. I'm surprised he didn't overrule that Yeah, don't one. tag my guy Brad Preston. He was right my in favorite. front of us. Here's Fiebelstadt on the side to Hill. Throws it on the baseline, throws it away trying to get it to Savad Garner. Pass was a little cute, right out of bounds underneath the basket, tar ball, moving from our left to right at the 18-15 mark, early on here in the first half. Allen, out of Mitch Woods, man-to-man -man defense, and Yuli will light up a three. Ooh, front iron, no good, tipped by Durkin, but knocked out of his hands nicely by Derek Hill. Tipped out of bounds, John Conley down there on the baseline, don't see him a lot, he'd said that's tar basketball. As Derek Hill came flying in, or Durkin would have put that one back up and in on the offensive board. Now here is the inbounds play. Looking for Woods. Got it outside to Mitch. Mitch now will direct traffic. Give it to Blessing. Two minutes into this one. Allen skips it over to Woods. Way out for three. Got it. Well, credit Adam Allen on the cross-court pass. Woods, three. Yeah, start lead by two at the 17.50 mark. Derek Hill, uh, very, very quick, listed at 5'9", transferred in from FIU, where he was an excellent player, and just decided to go to Division II. And here's the left-hand dribble. He led FIU, I think, in uh, assists. Six to four, Rollins, oh, wide open, and the uh, three-pointer is gonna be up and in by Ferales. Yeah, Ferales Can't give out. him an open look, he's 44%, and uh, he shoots uh, primarily the three, and it's seven, six, Barry. Now Blessing looking for Yuli. No good. Allen top of the key. High arcing three. Got it. Off the Blessing pass. Adam Allen wheeled around top of the key for three. Yes. Tars answered the uh, Ferrales three with an Allen three. It's a two-point Tar lead. Liz Barroetta works to Ferrales. And uh, almost all transfers for uh, Butch Estes bringing in nine new players. Derek Hill, little hesitation. Now works it over on the side. Barroetta's three, and he knocks it down. Barroetta with five. He shoots just 29%, but shoots a lot of them. And he got that one to go 10-9 to nine here early as uh, Blessing now uh, will hand it off to Yuli. Yuli pointing down low, gives it to Blessing. He'll jack a three, and he got it from the right wing. Wow, this is a heavyweight matchup. So this is a Norton Ali right here. 12-10 Rollins at the 16-30 mark. Of course, uh, Barry, for years, was a slow-it-down type team, played in-your-face defense, but uh, they like to run it a little bit here, and their defense so far has given Rollins some open looks. Feeble stat. 
And uh, in trouble. Now gets it over on the side. And jumping up and in is Derek Hill, three-pointer. Yep. That's three three-pointers for Barry and four for Rollins. 13 to 12, Barry. We're just four minutes into this high-scoring affair as Blessing now will yeah. bring it up. If you don't like the score, wait a sec. It'll change. Yeah. Oh, Woods uh, with the ball between the circles. Now Barry dialing up there man-to-man -man just a little bit. Here's Blessing dribbling it in. Now picks it up, gives to Yuli. Yuli guarded by Feeblestat. Blessing now kicks it over to Adam Allen. High arcing three near corner. Yeah. Wow, it'll be a nice day for Adam Allen to kind of feel it because he's going to get a lot of wide open looks as out. He knocked it down right there. Tars back up two. Now the Tars come out in that 1 3 1 with Durkin out high trying to do a little bit of pressure, a little bit of trapping. Derek Hill now will throw it over to Fer Ferales. His three is short. Rebounded, comes long uh, to a Blessing. He had Woods out there, but not far enough down court and he will slow it down on the right wing now dribbles left-handed now goes to his right now back up to the top of the key Durkin between the circles throws it to Yuli Yuli guarded by Feeblestat now to Adam Allen that pass not uh, not good so Allen will put it on the floor and give it to Woods top of the key Yuli now will kick it in the corner to Durkin get the screen Durkin goes baseline with five to shoot Adam Allen stops, pops, high arcing three, <laughs> nothing but net. Oh, wow, you could tell that was a step back. He was forced to change his arc. Got more on it, did Allen. It translates into a five-point Tar lead. Maybe the best three I've seen the Tars make all year. Here come uh, Barry. The six threes for Rollins in the first seven attempts. That ball stolen away. Adam Allen now will get up to Durkin. Durkin will drive and jam! Wow, doubt it. Jeff Durkin left the court just inside the free throw line, like you said, and jammed it, was fouled at the 14 27 mark. Tors lead seven, Durkin can make it eight. Coming out of the timeout, Buchesti's wants a timeout at the 14 27 mark. Five and a half minutes after scoring 40, what, 46 against Nova in 40 minutes. They've already put up 20. Tars are on pace to score 160. Yeah. That's about right, yeah, exactly right. <laughs> See, I did the math on that, Robert. You're thinking, I can't believe he did the math that quick. That was pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> so the, that time, Durkin, the head of the pack, got a beautiful lead pass and made no mistake. And when we come back, he will step to the line. And hey, I want to shout back. out Mike and Jane up in St. Paul. They're keeping warm up there, Robert. You, you said land of 10,000 lakes. What? 9,200. All what? Yeah. Well, who's counting? No, you said all... What's that, frozen? Oh, frozen. Yeah, all frozen. Yeah. Oh, frozen. I'm sure it is, oh, boy. That, that, the, the polar <laughs> vortex. I talked to Marty Wolf this morning. It was minus 9. Wow. In Cincinnati. What a time to be in Florida, huh? AT &T 68 and degrees there, folks. <laughs> AT&T and YP.com, the real yellow pages. Spectrum Sports Performance, Domino's Pizza. The Healing People, Joe and Orthopedic Clinic. The Financial Guys, De Prince Race and Zolo. And don't forget... One of the places I frequented when a young boy, Winter Park Hospital. Yeah, and uh, that's uh, great sponsors that we have. Dr. Costello, of course, uh, here. And uh, we will have the uh, Jewett Orthopedic Clinic uh, player of the game. Jewett Orthopedic Clinic. As the Tars Talk to Lucas out. Weingarner before the game, and he said they're taking very good care of him. The uh, Barry is 5 of 6, including 3 of 4 beyond the arc, and they're down 7, and Durkin. If he can hit the free throw, can make it eight. Only 56% shooter, but he drains that one. So Durkin now with six quick points, and the Tars up by eight. As uh, checking uh, in to the ball game will be Gonzalez, and what a scorer he is, Adrian Gonzalez. Mostly inside scoring, but I saw him have 29 against uh, Florida Southern, averaging 13 points a game. There he is inside, missing that uh, entry pass. As uh, Barueta threw it right at his feet. Yeah, Barueta threw it under, underneath the basket on the baseline of Gonzalez, and it was right between the wickets like croquet. Went all the way down the baseline and out of bounds at the 14-minute mark. Tars with an eight-point lead and the ball. He is uh, out of that Hylia Gardens. Four of these uh, nine that play the game are out of that high school. And here is uh, the ball passed over. Wide open, Mitch Woods. He'll load up a three. Ooh, that one in and out. Wide open on the left wing. Yeah, it looked good. And uh, here comes Derek Hill. Stop and go move. Throws it on the side. Stolen by Woods. Woods now will come up court three on two. Goes behind his back. And he will drive and try to give it to Durkin. Could not and could not save it. Just could not control the ball. Boy, a pretty unselfish play there by Mitch Woods. Stole the ball. Took it all the way down the court. Drew the defender to him on a two-on-one. Tried to dish it to Jeff Durkin. And 
it just was lost kind of the tipped, handle on it. Yeah, off Durkin's hand and out of bounds. Woods even tried to chase it down. 13:36 on the game clock, and uh, there's another three-point shooter, Ari Williams, checking in the 5'9 freshman of Elgin, Illinois. Uh, very, very quick, replacing Derek Hill. Uh, pretty much interchangeable parts, except Williams, uh, a little better three-point shooter. Tars now in that 1-3-1, uh, trying to, to get that trap. Here's Williams, gets it on the side to Ferralis. Ferralis goes baseline, cut off beautifully by Blessing. Now they throw it into the post. Gonzalez now will go baseline, and his runner is good. Yeah, that was over Chris Yuley, and Gonzalez stepped into about eight feet on the right baseline to our left. And, and he, uh, just he laid is that in. Really, he's going to be a big star in this league. No I think question that, about I it. I think that's the toughest shot in basketball. Yeah, he's floating toward the basket and left hands it up and in. Allen to answer. Front iron, no good. Rebound tipped by Woods, and Blessing will come away with it. Tars get an offensive board. Looking for Yuli. Got him down low. He will jump. He will shoot. And won't get the roll, but the rebound comes down. And Adam Allen gets knocked to the floor. John Conley says, hey, play on. And here's Ferralis. Morales throws it down low, and the uh, easy bucket put up and in by uh, Garner. Uh, yes, Savad Garner. I tell you, Tars didn't get all the way back. Garner was on the baseline, and Yuli just didn't see him behind him. They bounced it to Garner. He laid it in. Here's Williams now. He will bump Blessig as uh, Blessig was uh, driving past him. Williams made a move like he was going to steal the ball and ended up fouling. That's Brad Resentine lives down in South Florida. He comes up once a year, Robert, and does a game. I had a chance to talk to him. He made that last call. Did Brad President been ref in a long Judy time? Judy and Farrell in. James Farrell out of Winter Park at a uh, I think career high game nine. I think against the uh, Palm Beach Atlantic Sailfish. Tars up now by only four. As uh, Farrell now will dribble the basketball. Barry dialing up that man-to-man -man defense. Shooty gives it to Blessing. Eight minutes into this, 21-17. Farrell now, left-handed dribble, looking inside, gives it to Yuli. And Yuli has it stolen away by Gonzalez. Here comes a two-on-one, and a nice pass, uh, and driving is Garner, and he scores. Well, I tell you, Barry's got the tempo their way, and if you turn it over, they're a, they're, it's a jailbreak going the other way. Here's Farrell, and we're going to have a foul on Ferralis, and Ferralis is complaining about it. <laughs> that was uh, as clear a foul call as you will see right here in front of us. Now he's going over to talk to John Connolly about it. And they're saying, get over here. Well, they listed for all at 6'2", but he might be the stockiest, strongest guy I've yeah. seen in the league in a while at 6'2". He's a good shooter and a good scorer, and no doubt about it. Shoots better from beyond the arc than inside the arc, which is very unusual. That's the fourth foul, by the way, on Barry, and the first foul on the Juan Ferrales. The uh, Barry Buccaneers now on a 7-0 run. As the Tars uh, led, oh, check that 6-0 run, led 21 to 13. And now the Tars have cooled off. Uh, they are seven of 12. Barry, eight of nine shooting the ball. They shoot at 47%, which is pretty doggone good. And uh, they are second in the league beyond the arc at 37%. So Butch Estes has got them playing exceptionally well. Yeah, I mean, he plays, it's pretty impressive in a way. They play seven guys, but, man, these guys go up and down and up and down and up and down and don't stop. And if you turn it over, they're going to be right in your face. And, you know, that's the way Florida Tech likes to play. That's the way Florida Southern wants to play. And, you know, Robert, I've done a little studying on that this year, and I think a little bit of what these teams do translates into math. They want to turn you over. They want to out-rebound you. They want to get 10 or 15 more shots a game than you do. Last year, Florida Southern averaged 10 or 11 shots more than everybody else in the conference. Then you can shoot a worse percentage than everybody else and still beat them by 10. George Butch Estes, uh, his wife is a producer at uh, station, a television station in Miami. Estes went to North Carolina where he allegedly was a student assistant to uh, Dean Smith. And there's the backdoor pass, beautiful. Oh, and Blessing misses the layup. Oh, my goodness, how did that happen? Ari Williams now throws the ball loose. It's on the floor. We're going to have a jump ball. Yeah, that's arrows and, in the uh, favor of the good guys. Yeah, Sabad Garner uh, fighting down low, but he was flat on his back and got tied up. He had no chance at all. And with 11.25 remaining, Tars will inbound the ball in front of the bench across the way. Possession arrow will change. I'll tell you now, what, what do we'll, we got here? We got a got a warning on Tom Klusman from uh, Jeff Eicholtz. The, those two guys know each other over there. Hey, real quick, we're going to have Steve Sands on at halftime from the Golf Channel. He does the broadcast booth for Golf Channel on NBC. We're going to talk. Uh, we're going to talk uh, 
Olympics. He's doing curling. We're going to talk golf. We're going to talk golf channel. And we're going to have Steve Sands on at halftime. Stay, stay tuned for that. That should be a good one. Coach Klusman still working on Jeff Eichholz. Here's Farrell now. Works it to Durkin. They're trying to double team. Blessing will give it back to Farrell. Farrell now on the right side to shoot. He guarded by Gonzalez. Now to Durkin. Yuli out high with Barroetta on him. As they're dialing up that man-to-man uh, -man defense, Shooty now will uh, go right side, looking back door, not there. Farrell gives it on the baseline to Blessing. Blessing backing in, stopping, jumping, shooting. Off the back iron, no good. And the rebound comes down to Gonzalez. And Gonzalez now will make a move and then be cut off. Now skips it way over here to Williams. Williams has it tipped away on the baseline, but it, Gonzalez comes away with it, and then it'll be tipped out of bounds over here by Farrell. I'll tell you, Rollins doing a pretty good job of keeping the, uh, the passing frenetic for Barry. They're trying to wiggle it around the zone. Half the time they complete the pass. Seems like the other half the time Barry turns it over, but uh, currently Tars with a two-point lead at the 10:38 mark. Garrett Lawton from Orange Park out of Florida. Uh, Community College in Jacksonville's in the game. No relation to Ed Norton, who used to be on the uh, old Jackie Gleason show. Durkin almost has it Art tipped Carney. away. Art Carney, exactly right. Here's Ari Williams. He can shoot the three. Now gives it off in the corner. Jumping it, shooting it. It's an air ball. That will be a shot clock violation on the Barry Buccaneers. Good defense by the Tars zone. But Rollins has not scored now in the last four minutes and 20 seconds. And here comes Blessig now. Lessig slows it down, now takes it across the line. Throws it to Yuli. Yuli jams. Yeah, and a team like Barry that wants up-tempo place and plays marginal defense, you've got to take it to him and punish him. Tars did that time in the form of a Chris Yuli jam, and it's nice to see Chris get, get close to the basket like that and finish strong. Tars with a four-point lead. We're under 10 to go here first half. Yeah, they had doubled in the corner, and uh, Blessig saw the open the man, and that was Yuli. Driving it and going up and under is uh, Barroetta. He lays it in. 23-21, 9.40 remaining. Shooty being guarded by Gonzalez. And now will dribble left and give it to Durkin. Durkin goes to his right, spins around, and now throws it to Farrell. Again, they're dialing up that man-to-man uh, -man defense as uh, Ferales is out there on Farrell. Ferales now will give it off to Yuli. Yuli over to Farrell. Farrell now. Getting bumped, and now we'll stop and go. Give it off to a Blessing. Wide open, and we're going to have a block. And who's going to get that? That's going to be on Garrett Naughton. That's Jeff Eicholtz and John Conley both fought over the call, but they came up with the same thing, a block on Naughton. Thing is, he kicked it to uh, Durkin in the right corner after all the bodies hit the floor. Durkin kind of let the shot go in the middle of all that, and it was good for three, but it's no good. They called the block before, 9-12 on the game clock. First Yuli. Down. Out, Blessing out, Woods back in, as uh, well as uh, Bridger Dawson from Aspen, Colorado. Uh, here's Shooty out high. Now it's a zone on that out-of-bounds play. Shooty now gives to Woods. Had an open look at the foul line, didn't shoot it. Now Farrell will give to Shooty from the left wing three. Front iron, no good. Rebound tipped and taken by Barroetta, and Barroetta's going to throw it away. I mean, it's unbelievable. Run. Barry's willing to trade with you. They've got him for, uh, this is where I'm going to see if I agree. They've got uh, a Barry for, for six turnovers in the game. I, I think that's generous, but. That's the seventh, by the way. That's the seventh, yeah. I, I actually think it's more than that, but they got him with seven tars with three. Now, Barry looking to put uh, a trap on, and Farrell now getting more and more playing time. Gives to Dawson. Dawson, left-hander. Now we'll hand it to Farrell in the corner. Farrell throws it away. Looked like his arm had been hit. No call from Preston. Here comes Ari Williams, and he throws it down low, but he charges, I believe, as Ari Williams. And I don't know if Coach Estes is mad at the official or at Ari Williams. And uh, I guess the officials, I don't know. But Williams was out of control, going straight into the paint and uh, just ran right over the Rollins player. Uh, now 23-21, eight and a half minutes remaining. Farrell will uh, head across the line against the man-to-man -man defense of the red-clad Barry Buccaneers. Back door, Durkin jams. What a feed by Mitch Woods. Oh, I haven't seen that all year. Woods drove right. Durkin was on the wing, cut to the rim. Woods lobbed it. Durkin jammed it. It's a four-point to our lead. We're approaching the eight-minute mark of the first half. A beautiful lob by Mitch Woods off the dribble. Eight minutes remaining. And on the side, they throw it on the baseline, and Garner will miss the shot. 
That's apparently what he does. Shoots layoffs. He's a 52% shooter. Listed at 6'2 out of Greenville, South Carolina. Went to State College of Florida over in Bradenton. And uh, <laughs> Badass says, I think he was walking a little bit there. Didn't see it on the baseline. But he will go to the line. With Bad news is right before the timeout here for the media timeout. Savad Garner was fouled down low. Barry, again, they're trading the turnovers to try and force it down low. Garner uh, was fouled in the act of shooting. That was the bad news. Good news is he shoots 55% from the field, and we'll see how that goes coming out of the uh, coming out of the timeout. I want to thank Coca-Cola, Sodexo, Jersey Mike Subs, Natalio, Ad Pro Team Sports, the Gallagher and Associates, Jim Hogue Photos, one of my favorite, particularly in a summer hot afternoon, lazy afternoon. Tropical smoothie. That's Jim Farrell and Robert Singer. Let's make it the Coca-Cola player again. I don't think we've done Coca-Cola. This is the 60-second meeting between these two schools. Rollins with a commanding 44-17 to 17 lead. Oh, I got a nugget for you. Well, go ahead. I got a nugget for you on Coca-Cola, by the way. Okay. Frisch's Restaurants, which is big up in the Cincinnati, Ohio area, they dropped, they dropped after 30-something years Coca-Cola for Pepsi just, just recently in the last month or two. 32,000 people called the next day. If you've never been to Frisch's, go. They're getting a plug from me. Chili 10 ways. <laughs> no, that's Skyline. Sky, I remember having that when I went to Cincinnati. In the middle of the broadcast, it was uh, repeating itself 11 ways, I think. 7.58 remaining here in the first half. A uh, quickly played first half of action, particularly the first five minutes or so. Everybody bombing in threes. Here's Garner. He shoots 55% at the line, just under 10 points per game. Averages seven and a half boards. They list him at 6'2", and his free throw is off the back Told iron. He's a 55% shooter. You didn't believe me. Did that stroke right there looked to me? He left his thumb in there, Robert. That's what that's called when you thumb that. You had a 7'10 split. <laughs> There's Garner, number 24 in white on his red road uniform. Good. Good team that uh, they put together down there, Coach uh, Butch Estes. And uh, the second free throw is good. It's a three-point Rollins lead. Under eight minutes remaining here in the first half. Farrell now. Farrell will take it across the line, and we're going to have a hand check yeah. here by um, Derek Hill. I don't who get it. Derek Hill in. didn't like the call. He was mugging him, and Eichholz was right there, and they still argue. Yep. That was, was right, right in front, front of us. us. That yeah. was two feet from us. You could hear the contact and see the contact, and, and Hill still complained. I, I just don't. His second foul, too, and that would be the seventh. So at the line will be James Farrell. It was a big one and one for the kid from Winter Park, and he gets the roll. I tell you, he hit four big free throws in the last 20 seconds down at uh, Palm Beach Atlantic. It was six for six. Just I as think. cool as the other side of the pillow. Like Overall, said. Farrell getting more and more playing time. Didn't get much last year. Puts his left foot behind the right, fires it up, and good. Kind of remis reminiscent of Brock Blanchard. Remember Brock used to step in there and hit a couple late in the game. Cool as the other side of the pillow. Bob Blanchard specialized in the corner three when you <laughs> most needed it, didn't he? I also remember him sliding into our broadcast booth and knocking us back about 10 feet. Tars up by five, 7.38 remaining. Tars stay in that 1-3-1 and a kick by Scott Schutte over there. They've got Mitch Woods out high, Dawson in the middle, Allen and Schutte on the wing. Wow, it's, James a, it's a suit down day low. over on the bench, too, by the way. Brad Ash suit, Kyle McClanahan suit, Kyle Frake suit, and Tom Klusman. Again, a crisp uh, Oxford. With here is Ari Williams in low, and that shot's going to go in. They get it inside again, and uh, that basket is going to be good, and a free throw. I guess this Adrian Gonzalez doesn't shoot 57% from the field for nothing. Barouette now, we're looking for his 10th point. Averages about 13 a game. Went to East Tennessee State. Interestingly enough, they also are the Buccaneers. 7.27 remaining. Johnson City, Tennessee. And that shot is no good. The home, uh, original home of Steve Spurrier, by the way. 7.20 remaining. Tars up by three. Here's Adam Allen back in the game, guarded by a much smaller Savad Garner. Bridger Dawson. Oh, picked up his dribble. Now gets it to Woods. Uh, now Mitch Woods throws it down low to Allen, and he puts it up. And in. lovely move by Allen, wow. fading to his left and Adam putting Allen's it back been up. Adam really good here today. A lot of energy. And, and Tars up by five, seven minutes remaining in the half. Here's Barroetta. They're looking down low for Garner. He's he's uh, moving around on the baseline, the 6-2 player. And again, the 1-3-1 by the Tars. That ball off the foot. Oh, they're going to call it a kick. 
as uh, Eichholz did not, it, it looked like the ball just hit someone's foot and there was no affirmative kicking motion. That's what Tom Klusman is saying. Brad Preston way down low made that call. And 17 on the shot clock. Tars up by five, 6.48 remaining in the first half. Gonzalez uh, into the ball game. Juan Ferales in as well. And uh, they're going to throw it into the backcourt. And Ferales will run it down near his own basket and bring it up. Ferales now works it on the side to Ari Williams. Williams bounces, and the three-pointer is good from the right wing. He can shoot it, no question about it. Yeah, the he's freshman. 44% three-point yeah, shooter. Yeah, shoots a lot of them. And that makes it a two-point Rollins lead. Here's Allen, guarded by Garner. Gives to Shooty, top of the key. Shooty looks back door, nothing there. Now they give it to well, Williams on the blocks. Check that, Mitch Woods. And he's got it tipped away. Beautiful reach-in steal by Ari Williams. Williams now will give it off, and driving in is Barroetta. And uh, he'll shoot two. Wow, it is unbelievable with Barry how when you turn the ball over, they get an offensive rebound. They just turn it into a jailbreak, and they want to run. That it looks good, too. They were very well coached by Butch Estes. I mean, they'll turn it over their fair share. They've got in the game eight turnovers to roll. That's Rollins why they're 12-3. and three. All three of those losses, by the way, in the Sunshine State Conference play as the free throw is up and good. Barueta now one of two at the line. And he leads uh, all scorers with 11 points. Barrelletta's second is no good. This time the rebound taken by Chris Uli, who just checked into the ball game. And uh, Uli now will uh, work it to Allen. Allen losing the handle gets to Shooty. Shooty guarded by Gonzalez. Now Shooty will go to his left and give it to Blessing. And we're going to have a holding foul down low as Mitch Woods trying to cut to the basket. I believe it was Mitch. Yeah, we'll I, think shoot so a one and one. I think it was Barueta that held him away from the ball. Foul called by Brad Presentine. And, They're uh, a very physical team, Barry. They like to get up and uh, deny the ball, get into the passing lanes. And let's see, Allen has had a tough year shooting free throws, and he misses that one. Boy, Uli almost got the rebound. Adam Allen should be an 85% shooter, as good a shooter as he is. He's shooting 37%. And Harry uh, Williams misses the shot. The ball tipped by Blessing. And Mitch Woods will come away with the rebound. Woods now works it over to Allen. Ball fake. And we're going to have a travel. Yeah, Adam Allen got fouled by uh, Savad yeah. Garner after he head faked and put it down. But before he got fouled, he walked. I think it was probably a pretty good call at the 5-4. Yeah, Barretta flew by. And uh, Allen kind of double clutched there and walked with the basketball. 5-40 remaining. One point Rollins lead. 29-28 to on the side. As the women uh, won the game earlier, had double-digit leads for practically the entire game. Here's Ferales in traffic. The runner is off the mark, tipped, and on the floor, and away comes Barry with it, and we're going to have double dribble. As Gonzalez uh, took a dribble, it looked like he might have fumbled the ball. Yeah, he was kind of fighting with Alex Blessing for the yeah. ball, and then he gathered it in and beat Blessing to the ball, and then he, and then he walked with it, kind of double dribbled at the 518 mark. Tars with a one-point lead in the ball need to start converting here offensively. Rollins hit six of their first seven threes and uh, have only taken three cents and missed all of them. Now they work the perimeter as Barry is showing his zone here. Now Shooty gives it to Blessing. Blessing over to Adam Allen, way out high. Now to Mitch Woods, throws it baseline to Uli. Now to Woods, he'll jump it up, left wing. Got it for wow, three. Mitch Woods over for Raleigh's for three. That's a step and a half, two steps outside the, the three-point line. On the left wing, Woods knocked it down a much-needed three and a four-point Tar lead. Here comes uh, Barry going right to left in the red. Tar's in that 1-3-1, trying to get the trap. Now they throw it over here to Williams. Williams, little guy, is very quick, and he can really shoot the three. Here's a man that can shoot the three, and we're going to have a bump by Shooty out high on Ferralis. That is only the fifth team foul on the Tars as Durkin will check in and Adam Allen. Always with that knee problem. He was a huge recruit at the University of Florida. Hurt that knee and never was the same player. But has come back here to play a couple years at Rollins and play very, very well. But he must get rest after just a couple of minutes. Here's Barouetta. Nice pass down low to Garner and lays it in. Garner just stands there on the blocks and uh, is the beneficiary of some very nice passes by his teammates. He's got three layups and a free throw. It's 32-30 to 30 in favor of the Taurus. Shooty's now moving across the lane with his back to the basket against this zone. Now Shooty's got it in the corner. Scott on the left-handed dribble gives it off to Blessing. Ball fake now gives to Durkin. And we got a foul down low. 
Yes, yeah, Savad Garner giving up about four or five inches to Dirk and was behind him and uh, he was pushing on him. Brad Presentine called it at the 359 uh, yes, nine mark. Ninth team foul, I believe. Yeah, uh, Dirk will shoot the one and one. That's going to come after the media, the last media timeout of the first half. Tars with a two point lead. Dirk will go to the line and he'll shoot one and one. But on the next Barry foul, Tars will be in the double bonus. Only five team fouls on Rollins, so you gotta remember you shoot the one and one at seven, so yeah, Tars have one That was give. on Barrueta, by the way, and uh, that will be his second foul. Uh, he's leading in all scores. Robert, I wanna promo that halftime one more time. We're gonna have Steve Zanz on from the Golf Channel. And who's gonna he's, interview him? I'm gonna interview Steve you Zanz. Will? Okay. I'm gonna interview Zanzi at halftime, and uh, we're gonna talk about the Golf Channel. We're gonna talk about, uh, we're gonna talk about Tiger Woods. Steve Sands is always a guy who does a lot of those interviews. Probably works, I would say, 25 to 30 weeks out of the year at the tournaments. And this year he's doing the Olympics in Sochi, Russia. He's doing curling. We're going to talk about men's curling. Wow, Nova Southeastern after a, a nice win over Rollins and a win over Lynn. They were, they were winless for quite a while. They are whipping up on Tampa 27 to 12. Uh, eight and a half minutes into the first half at the Martinez. St. Leo with a four-point lead over Lynn on the road at the uh, one of your favorite places, the De Hornley Center. Was it with the Count and Countess in the house? No, there, there was no, no Count and Countess, but I tell you what, they've still got that big jumbo $2 bag of popcorn. And, I, um, I told some people down there, I told the girls down at Lynn that that worked the concessionary, that's the best deal in the conference. They'll charge you an extra <laughs> 50 cents for a buck, but they give you a big lunch bag full of it, Robert. Well, here at Rollins. I think that was just for you. No, here at Rollins, it's a dollar a bag over there. But the thing, you know, that's my complaint. It's, and I don't complain about much around here. I think they do. But they serve the popcorn and the thimble over there, Robert, at the concession stand. Right, we'll talk to Chris McClure about yeah, that. Yeah, get a bigger bag. Here's Durkin at the line to shoot a one and one Got it. That but, thing came from the heavens. He shot it yeah. to high, Jeff Durkin. It's Again, 359 on the. It's uh, the Jordan Colosi drop out of the heavens look. You know they're going to have a little a, more accurate. They're going to have an elite eight uh, reunion coming up here in uh, two or three weeks. That's I don't know the exact good deal again. on. They're going to see him. Seven, ten points now for uh, Jeff Durkin, along with a couple of boards and solid defense. Now he's playing out front yeah, in that one three one, and Ferales now works it over here to Williams. Harry Williams now gets it down low, tipped away beautifully by Blessing, and the Tars steal it. Here comes Nate Blessing. Blessing now will kick it over on the side to Woods. Yeah, he traveled with the ball. He just did not have his feet Boy, Alex, under him there. Alex Blessing did a great job oh, yeah. there right before the taking it down the court, and they just just walk with the Tars with a four-point lead, 341 on the game clock first half. Seventh turnover for Rollins. They forced 10 now, and Barry up again here. And it's uh, Ferales now on the right wing. We'll kick it over on the near side. Forcing them to run some clock here, which I know that the Buccaneers would prefer not to do. Williams now double teamed, who gets it to Ferales. 15 to shoot, over to Ari Williams. Fakes the three, gives it off in the corner to Gonzalez. Now baseline to Samosa, who has checked in. And he throws it away, oh, Durkin tips it, but loses the handle on it. Ari Williams way out for three. Oh my goodness Wow, gracious. Ari Williams was in the parking lot. He was 27. He threw up a knuckleball from 30 feet and it went in. Yeah, to beat the shot clock and uh, cut the tar lead to one with the 258 mark. And he holds up three fingers. Uh, could hold up 12 for that one, probably should have gotten it. He was smart enough to see that shot clock. And uh, here's the pass. Durkin tried to get the lob, but had to tip it over to Shooty because of the good defense. Shooty now, top of the key. Tar's up by one, 240 remaining. Lessig now on the side, rising, firing, three-pointer is good for Scott Schutte. Yeah, Scott Schutte, I think one of two from three from the game, got that one to go again. It's a big one. Tars have held him off. Barry closes, and we step back out. There's Williams now to Ferales. Works it back to Williams. He fakes the three. <laughs> he hit that one three from way out there. Why not fire a few more? And he can shoot it. Here's another one. And he hits another one. Yeah, Williams starting to feel pretty good about himself. The uh, That's his third three. He shoots 44%. you got to come out and get him. He's got nine, averages a little over five a game. But uh, two fouls on the starting point guard, Derrick Hill, and it's back to a one-point game. Mitch Williams. Oh, Durkin was open down low. Mitch did not see him. 2-1-2 two, two zone. Alvaro Samoso, 6'6 six, six freshman. Three-pointers up and off the mark. And we're going to have a foul away from the ball. I think that's on uh, Gonzalez. Isn't yeah, it? Jeff Durkin's really putting a lot of pressure on Barry on the defensive boards for Barry. Oh, he... Okay, that's on Ari Williams. Uh, 
says Victor Anderson, the versatile one behind us, and that'll be his second as well. So both point guards with two fouls. We've got a buck 50 left here. That should be a two-shot deal. It's the tenth foul, and uh, Durkin makes him pay. Yeah, on the game from the line, Jeff Durkin, four of four, and the Atars are... Uh, Durkin having a nice game here. Six of Oak seven Park, from Illinois. the line. Nobody plays harder than Durkin. Wow. Swish again, five for five. I mean, those things are not hitting any rim or anything. They're pure as can be. Tars with a three-point lead. And here is uh, Ferales. Now they work it on the baseline to Samosa. Samosa now throws it away. Got in trouble, and Shooty will get it off to Alex Blessig. Blessig up across the line as uh, that ball tipped by Woods. Now we'll get it to Yuli in the ball game. Chris Yuli tried to get it down low, could not. As Durkin was driving, would have had himself another jam. Here is Woods, and Woods gets bumped, but it goes off his leg and out of bounds. Yes, uh, shooting from the top of the key three-point area, tried to lob it to Woods down low and really just ran out of a real estate down underneath the basketball, went out of bounds. With Estes up calling a play. What a great job he has done putting together this Barry team. Here's Ari Williams now, throws it down low, and Garner lays another one up in there. <laughs> He's got the best job in basketball. Just stay down on the blocks, and we'll get it to you. And it's back to a one-point game, and we've got one minute remaining in the first half. Tars can get two for one here as a Blessing will work it over to Yuli. Yuli now back to Nate Blessing. Blessing now gets to Mitch Woods. Woods having a very quiet game. As Blessing now ball fakes. Now takes it in traffic. Gives it off to Durkin. He ball fakes and will go baseline. Up and under scores and one. Wow. I think Samosa got a piece. What a great move. That's a cadre where he fakes going left and goes baseline. Yeah, Jeff Durkin was in the right corner. Three-point land. It was a great head fake. Uh, Gonzalez, I think, jumped out at him. Durkin went baseline, laid it in, and was fouled by Samosa at the basket. Puts the Tars up three at the 42.4 second mark remaining in the first half. Durkin will go to the line with a chance to make this a four-point game. We'd expect he'll make it. He's five of five already at the line, and he's in a groove. Sharif Almula from uh, Timber Creek High School. He's in the we'll zone at the in. line, and what was that? Nothing but net. Robert, I've seen these games. You know what's going to go on. I tell you, I'm tomorrow's newspaper. It's about an eight-second difference, shot clock and game clock, as they work it over to Ferales. Now back to Williams, who's already knocked down three threes. And we're going to have a foul, and that's going to just be the sixth foul. And that will take it uh, out of bounds over here, so the shot clock should go off. No, they're going to call a kick, I guess. So there's uh, still about a seven-second differential. Now that 1-3-1 one, one for Rollins. They give it off to Williams on the deep on the right side. Into the hands of Gonzalez, the left-handed freshman. Now to Ferrales. He can shoot that three. Shooty is all over him there, and they double-team him in the corner, and he throws to Ari Williams. Five to shoot. He's going to fire that long three, and they're going to call a timeout with three on the shot clock. Wow, that's, I guess that's one That's one that they, they, they had to, to yeah. give here at the end of the first yeah. half. Use it or lose it. And by the way, if you're showing right next to Coach Estes is Ryan Saunders, all about 5'8", but he's got a 10-foot heart inside of him. What no, a, great a great point player, guard. Great player at Barry, and he's really given a lot in the last six, seven, eight, nine years to the Rollins uh, men's basketball program. For, I mean, Out of the Boone Barry High School, where the Faber brothers also went to high school and produced a lot of good players into this league. What a player he was about seven, eight years ago. A Barry team with their top two scorers out, uh, Felipe Barrios and Trish. And no double-figure scores. And he, his own heart, and, and the coaching of uh, Cesar Odio led them through this two-seed, the three-seed, and almost beat the number-one seed, Rollins, in overtime. Uh, a couple of buckets by Isaac Codry, yep. and the Tars just prevailed by one. And they were a seven-seed, I think, and they weren't, weren't even a 500 Yeah, Ryan team. has given a lot to that Barry program, for yeah. sure, and the school. And uh, John Tennis was a player of the tournament, but if... He had hit a shot late, Ryan Saunders. He would have been the player of the tournament. They've got to get a shot off quick. Here's Ferrales, the three. Back iron, no good. Rebound is going to be tipped and goes out of bounds. Tars will have it with 4.8 seconds remaining. Yeah, uh, game, uh, shot clock's off. Five seconds to go in the half. Tars lead by four with the ball, but have to traverse at the length of the court. They're going to send in uh, a player here late uh, who doesn't see a lot of action. And uh, that would be uh, number 11, Nico Ostby. Here's Almula. Got to shoot it. And he will fire it up. Oh! He hit the three. 
at the buzzer. Oh. Amola, 27 feet from the from the basket, working to the left from 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 Smart across. Hard enough up. to see the clock and jack one in. Wow, that is a bigger three than you think it is. Tars had a four-point lead. Almula gives them that at the buzzer, extends the Tars lead out to seven to go in the half. That's big because that thing can allow you to uh, survive a run here in the second half. Steve Sands is coming over, and he's going to hop on board. For Al Mula, I don't know that that's his uh, first three-pointer of the year. Sharif Al Mula coming in, really, Brad Pressington and John Connolly and Jeff Eicholz toting the whistles, Tars and White. With the white on white, the numerals uh, rimmed in blue, and uh, they will set up in that 1-3-1 one, one with Durkin out front. Here's Ferales. Adam Allen comes out on him. Here's Ferales again, ball fake. Takes it inside, and we're going to have a travel by Juan Ferales. Yeah, that's, that's some good defense by Rollins. They got out on Ferales. He wants to shoot the three, does the transfer from FIU. They crowded him. He got in there and shuffled his feet. That Jeff Eicholtz on the call there at the 1945 mark. Uh, it'll be a tar ball up seven. Look at Barry now. They're going to pick up three-quarter court, man-to-man, -man and press. And here is Blessing. Now gets double teamed. And we'll kick it over to Durkin. Durkin had Woods breaking but didn't see him. Now Durkin will take it across the line. Mitch Woods on the right side. It was open, did not shoot it. We'll bring it out to Blessing. And Barry will drop into the man-to-man -man defense. And uh, Hill with his hand on Blessing's hip. Now Woods will get a screen and go around it. And Dirt Uli was open. Blessing did not see him at first. Now Blessing will take it inside, and he'll going to get called for the offensive foul. As uh, taking a chance that time was uh, Derek Hill to pick up his third. Now quickly inbounding the ball as the Tars were walking back on defense. Now we'll throw it down low, and Feeblestat will lay it in. You know what? Feeblestat was open the whole way down the court. They got down the court. He was open. They finally bounced him, and he laid it in. Tars have to be more aware than that. Four points for Feeblestat, who did not play much, and that ball was thrown away by Durkin. And we're going to have a foul on Mitch Woods as Ferales was about to get a run out. Durkin telegraphed that pass to the top of the key. So Boy, in that motion offense, that's the one bad pass you can't make. I've been preaching that for years. You can't turn it over out near half court with that guy. He'll go down and score. Here's Garner throwing the ball inbounds and running down to get uh, set on the blocks. There's Ferales against the Tars 1-3-1. Now into the hands of Derek Hill. He throws it down low, and the easy layup by Barroetta. And a quick four points by Barry on layups. A minute and 15 into this one, and it's back to a three-point game. Adam Allen being guarded by Barroetta. Now down low, here's Mitch Woods, and Woods is going to charge again. That's three straight turnovers by the Tars. Barry's cut that seven-point lead to three, and they're looking for more right now at the 18-36 mark here in regulation. Tom Klusman wants a timeout. A minute. And 24 seconds in, I think it's a good one. But uh, three straight turnovers, two fouls by Rollins, and a turnover. Boy, Barry, offensively, is as impressive as it gets moving the basketball. They move it quickly and confidently and end up getting a lot of layups. And uh, that's not well, I, terribly I, often against the Rollins. Yeah, zone. I think the way to say that is they have a thirst. To just get it out and go whenever they, whether it's a defensive even, rebound. Even in the half-court offense, they move the ball beautifully and quickly and confidently. And uh, you've got to give Butch Estes a lot of credit coming in here. He coached at Presbyterian, at Furman, at Guilford, and uh, most recently at Palm Beach State. Guilford, by the way, the school where Lloyd Free played and became world beat. You know what? i got a question for you on that. I just happened to look that school up this week, and I'm going to give you a quiz question. I'm going to try and catch you off guard. What city... Well, wh wh where is Guilford? It's in I, North Carolina. Yeah, I knew I was going to hit you with this, and I wouldn't know if I didn't look it up this week, but I'm going to ask you that because I consider you a, a prince of small to mid-sized mid cities. What this city is, is it? It's in? a little larger. I'll give you a hint. It's a little larger. Yeah. A little larger. Yeah, you know, I, I should know All right, know I'm going to give that. you a hint. It begins with G. <laughs> That's in Guilford, North Carolina. No, 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 no. <laughs> Greensboro. Greensboro, okay. Lloyd Free, who became World Be Free, when he was in college at Guilford, he, was, he had the nickname... The Prince of Midair. He was uh, a huge leader. I didn't leaper. know he went there. Yes, he did. And uh, was a great player in college. And Do you remember he played for the San Diego Clippers with Stan Petkavich? Among other things. Yeah, here comes quickly up court Derek Hill. Hill now in the runner in the lane is going to be short. Easy rebound, Durkin. And we'll give it off to Blessing. Tars are scoreless here in the second half. As uh, now uh, Derek Hill will uh, guard Blessing. Blessing throws it to Woods. Woods now on the dribble. Should get a backdoor move here somewhere. Adam Allen now on the blocks. 
Allen getting pounded. We'll give it off to Durkin. Durkin now on the dribble. We'll take it inside and score. It's amazing. Barry will pressure you. They'll pressure the ball. Yeah. If you beat that initial pressure, you can get a wide open three or go right to the basket. Durkin did right there. Put the Tars back up five. Big bucket for Ron. Here is uh, Derek Hill. Lightning quick transfer from FIU. He was a good player at FIU. Now they kick it off to Ferales. Ferales jumps up a 16-footer. In and out. No good. What a rebound by Adam Allen in traffic. Adam Allen's had that extra half Gives step it to today. Blessing, and Blessing loses the ball. Here's a three-on-one, and Barouetta is hammered nicely by Adam Allen. That'll be his third foul. And Barouetta was, uh, had two men on the wings, but now he was going to take it himself. Could have dished it off for an easy layup, but he will shoot two free throws. Barouetta transferred into this program out of uh, East Tennessee State. Had 23 against Lynn, 13 rebounds against Nova, clanks it off the front rim. Barouetta in this game already with a dozen points, uh, right about his average of 12.7. 58% shooter and hits the second one. Barouetta they got from East Tennessee State, so a lot of these 10 new guys, they got them from all over. And uh, looking inbound, here is Blessing. Oh, he's going to throw it away, and uh, but it's tipped out of bounds by Juan Ferales. Needs some help to come back because they're putting pressure on. Durkin actually broke free behind the pack. Let's Barry's see if letting, he runs there. Barry's they're going to get it into Blessing. Blessing now will uh, have the ball kicked out of bounds by Garner. As uh, Garner now <laughs> will give Rollins back the basketball. It's the third attempt to inbound the ball. Now they get it off to Blessing, and we're going to have a jump ball. It'll be Rollins basketball. It'll be the fourth attempt to get it inbounds here. And let's see what they do. Good full court pressure by, uh, by Barry. I'm surprised they haven't run that little merry-go-round deal on the inbounds pass. It always seems to work. Garner was guard Mitch Woods on the inbounds play. And uh, now they look to get it to Uli, and they do. Uli now will uh, get the ball back to Mitch Woods. Woods now to Adam Allen. Allen will take it into the front court. He'll give it to Uli. Uli gets away with a travel and gives it back to Woods. Woods now on the side to Adam Allen. Tars with just two points in uh, almost uh, three minutes of action here in the second half. Adam Allen, top of the key, hands it off to Mitch Woods. Now sets a screen for Blessing. Now gets it back to Allen. Allen thinks about three. Now will jack a three. It's going to be long. And the uh, shot clock going off. And uh, here is a uh, foul by Blessing as he does not get the charge call. Uh, Airy, uh, check that. Airy, uh, Derek Hill ran into him, and they said he was not set. And that will be already the fifth foul on Rollins in three minutes. Wow. Five-team foul, none, Rollins, zero. None yet on Barry, and that's the way to get it. Adam Allen tips the ball and saves it on that lob pass. And now that ball is tipped again, and now Farrell will get it. And now the Tars will lose it out of bounds. And it'll be, boy, Rollins just loose as heck with the yeah, basketball. Yeah, not taking care of it. Barry picking up all over the court pressure, and Rollins not doing a good job right here in the first two minutes, second half, handling this. Yeah, and uh, Barry has... Uh, Outscore of the uh, Rollins Tars here, five to two. Tars are lucky it's not worse than that. A couple of uh, tip balls almost gets run outs, and we're going to have a uh, moving pick, I believe, here. And I think it's going to be on number 24, Savad Garner. Yeah, it is. And That's uh, the first foul on Barry in the half, as Shooty will replace Yuli. You know, Robert, you wonder how long Barry can press like this. They only play seven guys, maybe eight, and they're pressing full court all over the place. Tars have to break this press and score right out of it. Seem to be in good shape, though. Here is the uh, inbounds pass to Farrell. Farrell coming up court quickly. Farrell's going to be uh, hit and throws the ball away. He's getting bumped coming up court here, but he's dribbling the ball right next to the sideline. Yeah, well, not only that, he got place. in the air, and he, he got himself in the air with nowhere to throw it, and he ended up throwing it right out of bounds. It's Barry Ball, another turnover for Ross. The Tars are going to have to break this pressure efficiently, or Barry just going to keep pressing. 14, that's six turnovers now in not quite four minutes. That's unbelievable. And five team fouls. And five team fouls, which probably you would consider turnovers as well. Here is Fievelstadt, gives it off. Now Derek Hill throws it on the side. Jumper is put up and off the mark. Beautiful tip in uh, by Barouetta on the miss by Ferales. I mean, Barouetta went right down the lane in the air and just tipped it in. Barouetta with a pirouetta. 
And a beautiful play. Here's Farrell. He thought about three. He was wide open, didn't shoot it. Cars have one basket here in the first four minutes, and we're going to have a clearing out foul Adam on Adam Allen. Allen. can't believe that. I can't either. He had, he had uh, Adam Allen clearing out down low. That was Jeff Eicholtz on the call. It's a two-point game, 47-45. 15-45 on the clock in regulation, and it's going to be Barry's ball. And now with 15-45 remaining in the second half, Barry will shoot free throws with every foul except for the player control foul for the rest of the game. That's amazing. And uh, they've earned it by really playing upbeat basketball, both ends of the floor. And Rollins uh, attacking that press is doing nothing. And uh, that's what's Yeah, that's the one here. thing about the press. When they press you like that, you turn it over and you show weakness, we're going to see that press now, you know, most or all of the second half. Unless you can beat it and, and, and kind of shove it right down their throat and score out of it, we haven't shown any kind of propensity to do that in the first four minutes. 15 seconds here in the second half. Not a big team. They're the best rebounding team in the conference. They shoot threes, second best in the conference. Uh, really a dangerous, dangerous team. They're 12 and three. All three of those losses have been in conference play. And uh, they are four and two on the road. Rollins just eight and eight, two and four. When's the last time you remember Rollins uh, at the midpoint of the season with a losing conference record? Uh, yep. Got to go back several years for that. So Barry now trailing just by two. I mean, you think you look up on the board and Barry should be up by about 10 because the floor has been tilted. Everything has been going to the right with the red clad Buccaneers. Small team, but very quick, very well coached. Full court pressure. Almula now will check in for the uh, Rollins Tars as uh, Sharif Almula out of... Uh, Timber Creek High School, helping to put a little bit of uh, pressure on here. As uh, now the Tars will go back to the 2-1-2 zone defense. Now they go on the baseline. Tars are playing a smaller team here. And Feeblestad has it uh, tied up by Durkin. It'll be a possession arrow for the Barry Buccaneers. They will have 16 to shoot the basketball. Well, one thing I don't know that we made a big enough deal out of it, Al Mula in, Allen out. Allen's out mainly because of the four personal fouls he's got. Yeah, they inbound it to Barroetta. Gives it to Garner. Garner now to Ferales in the corner. They work it down the baseline. That ball's tipped. Beautiful play by Durkin into the hands of Mitch Woods. Woods now will hustle it up court. Give it off to Shooty. Scott Shooty in the ball game. And uh, give it off to Woods. Now into Shooty, back to Woods. He was open, did not shoot it. He'll take it inside and bank it in. Wow, much needed down low. Woods went to his right about eight feet down low. Banked it off the glass. Brad Presentine said, you were fouled shooting it. It's a four-point tar lead. Woods can extend it out to five at the 15-02 mark of For regulation. Mitch Woods, uh, his eighth point. That's a third foul, by the way, on Derek Hill. And uh, very aggressive point guard. And uh, let's see if Woods can uh, knock down a free throw. Mitch uh, on the year, 77%, but not hit that one. Ball tipped by Almula, but right into the hands of, oh, man. Oh, they're going to call. Is that on Farrell? He was tipping the basketball and going after it with it loose was Derek Hill. And uh, now, man, that uh, there was no foul either player. They were both going for the ball, and I guess uh, they bumped, and uh, Farrell's going to get whistled for the seventh. Foul. So just five minutes and two seconds in, Barry will start shooting free throws, and that may be the difference in this ball game as we go down. Free throw is good. Yeah, they're a 72% uh, shooting free uh, free throw shooting team uh, as a team. So 69% shooter, number 10 in white on his red uniform, spins it in. Five points for Derek Hill, the FIU transfer, and now the Tars will inbound the ball. Farrell now will uh, get fouled. My goodness, he got bumped. Tell you what, got that's called. the third team foul on Barry. We're trying to inch our way toward that one and one. And, uh, a lot of whistles in this game. And that went on uh, Savad Garner. And uh, he'll come out. And the high scoring Adrian Gonzalez, freshman. Just two points in the first half for Gonzalez. Now they're going to inbound the ball. They get it to Farrell. Farrell is pressured in backcourt, and he'll lose it. And. Uh, Tom it's Klusman put up, up and the in bench. now by uh, Barrowetta. Here's Almula breaking pressure. Almula now will pick up the dribble and have it tipped away. And driving and missing the shot is uh, Derek Hill. We're knotted at 49, and after that turnover there, Barry's going to go to the line, shoot two at the 
39 mark and try and take a two-point lead. This is as much pressure as I've seen any team put on Rollins in a long, long time. Barry came out in the second half, said, we're going to press you man-to-man the whole way the second half, and they've done that. And uh, Rollins hasn't done a good job handling here the first five minutes and 30 <laughs> seconds. Is that an understatement? That's the understatement of the year. As Derek Hill hits uh, a free throw, he's three for three now. And Blessing will check in. Farrell will check out. As uh, That's the eighth foul already. Not only is this a man-to-man press by Barry, but they're trapping in it, which means you want to be able to break this thing, take it right to the basket, and score. Garner will check back in, and uh, Adrian Gonzalez, quick trip to the bench. Here's Blessig, and Blessig gets knocked down, gets no call, and now Shooty gets bumped, no call in the backcourt, as around the back goes Blessig, and he just throws it away. Blessig broke the pressure. They had about a four-on-one and couldn't do anything with it. If this was baseball, Little League baseball right now, we'd be the bad news bears. 14-28, 14-28, uh, breaking this press anyway. 14-28 on the game clock. Tars are now down two, and Barry's got the ball. Nine turnovers in five and a half minutes. That uh, could be a world record there. Baseline, Garner puts up a 12-footer, and he hits it. Barry smells blood in the water with this press. They should, as uh, Blessing now will get bumped. And we're going to have, what are they going to call? John Conley called a foul. First one in quite a while. They called it on Ari Williams. No, I think they're going to. Are they going to call a timeout or a foul? What'd they call? I I thought they called it a foul. Well, I guess it was a timeout. Cars are, are having trouble. They inbound it and get double teamed, and uh, this is just uh, ugly. Cars have scored exactly four points in almost six minutes here of the second half. As uh, they, uh, with an eight and eight record, in danger of going under 500 already this late in the season. They've won uh, 44 of the 61 previous games here, but this is a different Barry team than they're used to seeing. Again, not tall at all, but uh, very, very well coached, very disciplined, and they hustle on defense. The Tars should be able to get some uh, odd man breaks and back doors. Well, we just had one a second ago, and we brought it up, and Blessig broke the press and broke it right down the middle. Yeah, threw it, threw it right between two players. And we huh? threw it right to nobody. We had guys filling the lane and everything and threw it out to the right, and it was and Once to again, nobody. we got ten players on the right side of the court. Now they're doing the little dance around in the circle here, and here is Blessig. Blessig now will uh, bring it up and take it across the line. Unless it gets bumped, no call, and uh, we're going to get a foul there by Ferales. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Ferales uh, is absolutely unbelieving, as uh, Brad Preston says, you're all over his back. And that will be team foul number four, only the second on Juan Ferales. Now they will inbound the ball to Blessing. Cars down by four. They led by f- uh, seven at the half, so a plus 11 by Barry in the first six minutes of the second half. And uh, here is Durkin, and we're going to have a bump on the feeble stat, I believe. That's and only the fourth. That's a oh, boy, up at midcourt and screaming about it is Butch Estes. That's a fifth team foul on Barry, eight on uh, Rollins. So uh, Rollins working their way toward the one and one. Third foul on feeble stat, uh, but he will stay in the game. Now they work it to Shooty on the side. Here's Mitch Woods trying to throw it back door to Almula and cannot get it there. Another turnover. Oof. Good idea, just uh, execution. I mean, didn't we've work. got 18 turnovers with 14 minutes to go in the game. Yeah, I had eight at the half, by the way. So 10 of them already, not even seven minutes in. Here's Garner dribbling the ball out high, now running back down to the blocks. And uh, Derek Hill, outstanding point guard. They got two good ones, and Ari Williams and, and Derek Hill. Here's Ferales. Now works at. Uh, to Gonzalez at the elbow, looking for Feeblestadt down low, couldn't get it to him. Here's Ferales around the corner on the zone, gives it to Garner. Now jumping it up. Oh, Almula God. fouled. Derek Hill shooting a three. John Conley said you fouled him. And uh, mm. nice uh, play by Derek Hill. He pulled a uh, a capers by falling backwards like he'd been hit by a truck, and got away with it. And uh, he will shoot three now. That ball was halfway to the basket when he hit the floor. And Almula says, I just had my hand up, didn't touch him. 
In any event, it's three more free throws, and the first one is good. This will be the fifth, sixth, and seventh by Derek Hill already in this half. Well, I think that's one of the most gruesome things in college basketball. Instead of the, uh, next to the unforced turnover, it's fouling the jump shooter, shooting a three. And the second free throw is good. Back to it's up to a six-point Barry lead as uh, Garrett Norton will check in, and back in will come Barretta. Barry's on a 17-4 run to start the second half, and, and this made free throw here. Seven for seven in the half, 10 points for Hill. 18 He'll check run. out, and uh, pretty much interchangeable part, Ari Williams, who had three threes in the first half, the freshman out of Elgin, Illinois, and we're going to have a foul on uh, Ari Williams, his third. I think the officials over the last minute or two are doing a decent job of calling some of this fouling. Barry is fouling in the man-to-man, -man. not every time, but they are, and I think the officials are doing a good job of calling it. 15 fouls in seven minutes total by both teams. Wow. Here's Shooty now, works it over on the side. Plessig jumps it up and hits the jumper. Wow, much-needed tar basket. Cut the seven-point Barry lead to five. 56-51, Barry 12.45 to go game clock in regulation. Ferales works it over to Ari Williams. Williams generously listed at 5'9", but he can shoot the three from Elgin, Illinois, has it tipped away by Galvis. Beautiful play by Joey Galvis, who checked in. The freshman from Tampa off the leg of Ari Williams. Yeah, Joey Galvis getting a little time here today, and he should find himself open. Maybe he can nestle in somewhere at a Champa Jesuit and knock down a three. That's what he does. And here is Blessig. Blessig across the line. Three fouls on Ari Williams, and he is bodying up Nate Blessig. And uh, looking for Blessig. Now they got it to him. Blessig picks up his dribble. Now gives it to Durkin. Woods. I think he thought it was double dribble on Blessig. It looked like it might have been. Here's Shooty. Shooty with 10 to shoot. Tars down by five, but with the basketball. They give it to Shooty. Shooty now will take it in the lane. He'll jump up a 12-footer, and he will get fouled by Gonzalez. Gonzalez came out and fouled Scott Shooty, shooting about a 16-footer left side of the free throw line. Shooty looked up and said, what do you got? He got the whistle, go to the line and shoot two. That's the seventh team foul. Now Tars are into the one and one at the 11 a 59 mark here of uh, regulation at the Warden Arena at Rollins. You are listening to 91.5 FM WPRK, Winter Park, Florida. And this is Rollins men's basketball can be heard around the world on RollinsSports.com. Want to thank P.F. Chang's Burger 5, the Meat House, Hilton Orlando in Altamont Springs, Jewels by Peter B., a Jim Hogue Photos. I don't know that Jim's in. I haven't seen him in the house today. Gallagher and the attorneys of Gallagher and Associates, and Ad Pro Team Sports. And uh, make sure and stay tuned at the end of the game for the Coca-Cola post-game uh, show. Uh, Robert Siegel will ask uh, Kyle well, Frakes a few questions. Hey, uh, Tars uh, have uh, changed the lineup as uh, Joey Galvis not get, usually getting any play in time, and Sharif al as uh, obviously Weingarner is gone for the year. If you missed it, he has a broken foot or broken uh, area around the metatarsal, fifth metatarsal, and uh, will be out, we understand, perhaps for the rest of the year. Of course, if Jewett Orthopedic has anything to do with it, he'll be back sooner. But we're sorry to hear that as he was having a great senior season. But the Tars now with a smaller lineup, hopefully to break the pressure here of the Barry Buccaneers who came out of the dressing room with a vengeance. Scores, go ahead. At the count and count us to Hernley Center at Lynn. St. Leo doing a job on them, 12 to go. They're up 15, 50, 35. And at the Bob Martinez Center in Tampa, it's the Sharks of Nova Southeastern up 30. 61 31 with 17 to go. Free throw is good. Uh, Tampa is such a good defensive team. Richard Smith smoking mirrors over there. And they, they really had Florida Southern on the ropes there. Just could not get a shot off at the. Uh, the uh, latter part of the game and the first the overtime. Tars have done a good job here stemming this Barry run. Cut this thing to three now. 56-53 Barry. 11-50 game clock. Shooty, by the way, hit both free throws as taking it across the line. Here's Ferrales play. They throw it away. Got Shooty now. Will drive. Spin. He'll go up. Missed the shot. Put back up and in by Blessing. Shooty's shoe came off. He threw it down. He's playing with a sock on. He did a good job, Scott Shooty, getting it up on the glass. Blessing mopped it up. Here is Ferales throwing it down low and away. And uh, we're going to have the shoe. <laughs> we're going to grab the shoe. <laughs> and 
He's got shooting That's the funniest shoe. thing shooting I've seen. Shoe. There we go. Shooty did a spin dribble, came out of his shoe, was half off. He grabbed it and threw it up against the wall. It took off the other way. Pretty good. And then they threw it out of bounds, so now he gets time to put it back on. Let's see. Yeah, he's going to take his time and get it back on. This is the third or fourth time because Mitch Woods has run out of his shoe twice. And Scott Shooty, he can tie the shoe. You, they're yeah, going to stop the, the official's going to let him once yeah. in the tie. 11:31 game clock. Tars have cut this thing. Barry was on a massive run, and Tars have now cut the uh, deficit. They were down seven. It's now a one-point game. Tars can take a lead on a conversion here. Again, want to send our best to Cesar Rodeo. And uh, now his son is uh, playing up at uh, BC. Yeah, this Cesar Rodeo has always been a favorite. Good man, good man, and he's doing well, we hear. Got a great coach he was. Is. And here goes Blessing across the line. Tars can take the lead with a bucket. Blessing now will throw it to Mitch Woods at the elbow. Woods back to basket. Ferales on him. Now goes back door and throws it right into traffic. And that ball is going to be stolen away by uh, the Barry Buccaneers. And one more turnover by Rollins. Here comes Ari Williams. They work it over. Oh, a travel. <laughs> As he popped up in the air and landed on both well, feet. I tell you, it's kind of sneaky the last couple of possessions, but Barry's been an accident going somewhere to happen. Turning it over, unforced, letting the Tars get back in this. Here's Shooty across the line. And he gets bumped up. Oh, there was another bump, no call. As on his back was Ari Williams right in yeah, front of Jeff Eichholz. That was Jeff Eichholz there. He's got to see either a body part or blood on the floor for he's oh, going to call him. Looking back door for Galvis, not there. Woods fakes the three, and ooh, he looked like he was going up again. Now he'll take it inside, gives it off to Galvis. Ball fake, jumps up a 16-footer well short. Durkin will rebound, Durkin will spin, Durkin will score. Galvis shot a little short. Durkin mopped it up, went baseline up underneath the rim to protect the ball and laid it in. Tars now back on top one. Rollins with a 6-0 run here, and with 10-20 remaining. Oh, ho. Harry Williams carrying the ball a little bit. Williams now. Little stop and go move. Looking down low and tipped by Shooty. And oh, Durkin had the ball, but it was taken by Garner. We're going to have a kick ball. Uh, and who kicked it? I guess I don't the know. Tars it was loose did. down oh, there. Man, Durkin could not hang on to that. No, but Durkin fell down. Barry was going to get it. And I think Jeff kicked it. Probably a good move. Kept Barry from laying it in in the lane there. The, the, the what are they, they're going to put 15 on the clock. Okay, they're going to say there was never a change of possession. So they got 15 to shoot with 10.09 remaining, trailing by one. Down to our right, the red-clad Barry Buccaneers. Oh, it's over and back. He's over. Oh, it was over and back. Yeah, Brad Presentee, Jeff Eichholz was right here and didn't see it. Brad Presentee called it from the other side. Easy, he was easily over and back. He caught the ball. His foot hit in the How does Eichholz not court. see that? I don't know. I don't know. Right in front of us, and here's Blessing now. Tars at the midway point of the half with a one-point lead, led by seven at the break. And down low to Mitch Woods. Woods ball fake. Up and scores! Oh, Woods took Ferrales right to the rack, got it up, wiggled it in. It went in, just crawled in, and got it to go at the 9.56 mark. It's a three-point tar lead, the conventional foul. Woods can make it four with the made free throw. Great pass by Shooty back door, but Woods got it in traffic and made a great play. Mitch at the line looking for his 11th point of the game. Free throw is good. 9.56 on the game clock. Big three-point play, Mitch Woods. Tars with a four-point lead. And uh, pressure in backcourt by Rollins. Galvis and Blessing, ooh, almost thrown away. As of driving now and uh, back in the ballgame is Derek Hill. Hill now with his three fouls. We're down to 940 remaining. Hill dribbles to his right. Galvis on him. Now back to uh, Barroetta. Oh, ball fake by Ferales. Baseline, Garner will throw one in from about eight feet out on the wow, baseline. It wasn't even really a shot. It was a shot put by Savad Garner, and he got it to go. Yeah, and he's uh, pretty good at that. Here's Shooty almost over and back. Now Galvis will uh, get the ball to Woods. Set a screen, Durkin. Durkin goes left, kicks it to Shooty. Shooty looking for Woods. Woods backing up against Ferales, bodying up. And Shooty now will uh, play it with 15 to shoot. 9.05 remaining. And Blessing now will have the ball go off of his foot. That's going to be over and back. Yeah, I thought I thought John Conley got that right. He, yeah. was, he was pressured by Derek Hill, but Hill did not touch the ball. Blessing bounced it off his foot into the back por court. And uh, in the spirit of fairness, John Conley got that call right. Nine minutes on the game clock exactly. Tars with a two-point lead, 60-58. Barry with the ball. Great base, a great basketball game to watch. And driving is Derek Hill and drives and scores left-handed. Right through traffic. He had not done that the entire game. 
and that's his first basket of the half after seven free throws. Tied at 60, 840 remaining. Shooty with Garner on him between the circles. Galvis will get it to Durkin on the blocks. Durkin now will give it to Joey Galvis. Driving, loses the handle, wide open. Shooty now near corner. No. Uh, what's the call? A moving pick by Joey Galvis. John Conley called it at the 831 mark. Shooty was loading a three in the left corner. It no, Shooty had already shot the three. Well, he waved it off. I know he waved, waved it off, the, but the three was halfway I there. So too, oh, no question about yeah, it. Well, it, it, Conley was going to wave it off, which would have been a bad call. Wow. But, the, but the three did not go. No, that ball tipped, but into the hands of Feeblestat by Galvis. Well, they get it to uh, Ferales. Ferales now will work it back to Derek Hill. Tied at 60, 8-10 remaining. Sunshine State Conference basketball at its best. Double team and almost thrown away. Mitch Woods gets, almost gets his hands on it. And uh, driving it up comes Hill. Ferales is open for three. Back iron, no good. Long rebound to Blessing. He gets it up to Galvis. Galvis to Woods. Woods says three. Front iron, no good. Rebound is taken by Barrett. Ooh, almost stolen by Galvis in backcourt. Here's Hill now on the side. Barrett's three. Front iron, no good. Rebound to Blessing. Boy, the action's been frenetic. The points haven't necessarily been going up on the board, but it's back and forth. Seven and a half to go in regulation. Knotted at 60 at the Warden Arena. Rollins and Barry. Here's Blessing between the circles. Tarzan White going to our left. Durkin now to Woods. Durkin with a career high in uh, points in this game already, although, uh, yeah, he has 19. His previous high, I think, was 13. Galvis in the corner. They're backing off of him. They give it to Blessing. What a feed by Galvis, and Blessing scores. Wow, Galvis and Blessing, they fiddled and diddled, diddled and fiddled. Blessing got his man pinned. Galvis got it to him, and bang! Torres with a two-point lead, under seven to go. Blessing has not played, uh, check that. I mean, Galvis has not played this much, I don't think, the entire year. And uh, he's supposed to have lightning quick hands on defense. 2-1-2 two, two zone by Rollins, driving it in, kicking it off on the side. For Rollins gets away with perhaps a walk, banks it up, no good. Rebound to Mitch Woods. Woods now will slow it down. Tars need a lead, get a lead there. Two up two right now. Boy, how big would a three be right here at the 6.30 mark? Here's Shooty. Now back to Woods. They work it to Galvis. Galvis. Oh, he throws it to nobody. Oh, my goodness. That's Nobody the, was there. That's the unforced turnover we always talk about. Galvis threw it out to absolutely nobody. The ball went across the court and out of bounds at the 631 mark. That's that's like byproduct of execution. There, there wasn't any there. Part of that is I think he's a little winded. He has not played this much the entire year. He's a freshman. I think and, they, like, uh, they like the way Joey Galvis is playing. We were struggling getting the well. ball up the court. I thought maybe he'd come out and help him to get the ball up a little bit. You know, ever since they put him in the game, you know, we haven't been a turnover waiting to happen. We've gotten the ball off the court. We've taken a lead here. So, 22 uh, turnovers, by the way, 14 in this half by the Tars. Want to thank out a, on the floor. I want to thank Italio, Jersey Mike Sub, Sodexo, Coca-Cola, and there'll be a Coca-Cola post-game show, Domino's Pizza, Spectre Sports Performance, The Healing People, Joe and Orthopedic Clinic, The Financial Guys, The Prince Racing Zolo, and always, always, Tropical Smoothie. Great place, Tropical Smoothie. My wife loves that place. Yeah, I tell you, it is good. Remaining? You know, if you go over 90 here at the Warden Arena, it's free smoothies. I think if your ticket stub's good for, for, for 24, 48 hours. We were on pace to do that early in the game, but yeah. I think you can stick a fork in that now. 62-60 at the 631 mark of regulation. As uh, Coach Klusman very animated over there talking to his team. He's going to send out Galvis and Shooty. He's going to send out Jeff Durkin, Blessing, and Woods. A very short team. As uh, Yuli has not played much at all here in the second half, nor has Adam Allen. I think pretty soon they're going to take a look maybe at getting Adam Allen back. He's got four fouls. He's over there on the bike. He's doing uh, the working bike. Working out. As here's Barry in red with the ball against the Tars 2-1-2. They played a lot of 1-3-1 earlier but have not here. Now they throw it over to Ferales. Now baseline to Gonzalez. He'll jump up. Lovely looking shot from about 16 feet out on the baseline. And he's got four. And now again, pressure in backcourt. Yeah, there's Barry picking up Alex Blessing. Everybody clear it out. Blessing now will uh, cross over. And we're going to have a foul. The fourth foul on uh, Derek Hill, I believe. Yeah, and Rollins will shoot the one and one. That's the ninth team foul on Barry. Next foul. And the Tars will shoot, too. So foul starting to catch up here with Barry a little bit They're at the 6.08 mark. 
They're going to send out Hill, and uh, they're going to need to uh, wipe up a wet spot there as Ari Williams is going to come in to replace it. Big one and one here by Nate Blessing at the 6.08 mark. Uh, so this is uh, only the uh, fifth free throw of the half for Rollins. As uh, Alex Blessing will step up to the line. Where's number three? You know, it's a white number rimmed in blue. I like the white on white yeah. uh, sort of look. They Our sort of stars have not worn the yellow this year. I just gold, think back to Nick Wolf's senior year. I think was the last year they got new uniforms. The next year they, they no, wore white. And way they off the mark. Blessing normally a 93 percent shooter, and he misses the front end of that one and one. Surprised at uh, Nate Blessing, as that one was not close. Tied at 62, under six minutes remaining. They work it on the side to Ferralis. Now to Barroetta. Quickly into the hands of Ferralis in the corner. They go baseline to Feeblestadt. Feeblestadt is going to get fouled by Dirk, and he got Jeff airborne and uh, made a good move with a ball fake. He was actually under the basket Pro at the time. Probably a good foul by Dirk in there to, to, to send Feeblestadt to the line. Feeblestadt with the long in. black socks. He is out of Bergen, Norway. Season high 20 against Ave Maria. He's looking for his fifth point. 82% shooter. He's number five in the conference, and he makes no mistake. Knocks Bergen, you were over that way last year, weren't you? <laughs> the Scandinavian countries. As Adam Allen now will replace Joey Galvis in the lineup. Galvis gets a nice hand out of Tampa, Florida. Joey getting some playing time. Going to get a lot more in the coming years. Jesuit High School. Both free throws were up and good by uh, Fiebelstadt. Now pressure in backcourt, the 540 mark. Here's Shooty gets it to Woods. Woods now will take it into the front court. Down by two. Five and a half minutes remaining here in regulation. Looking for help. We'll get it off to Shooty. Scott Shooty, top of the key. In the corner to Blessing. Nate Blessing goes baseline. He'll go up and score. Yeah, Alex Blessing got freed up, and they're hung in the air for a couple minutes, banked it off the glass. We're, we're approaching the five-minute mark of regulation, nodded at 64 all. Been calling him Nate. It's Alex Blessing. Nate Wyant is our uh, main man here. Five-minute mark now, tied at 64. Working it over on the side. Tars bring the 2-1-2 out a little higher. Here's Ari Williams, picks up his dribble and throws it away. Here's Adam Allen working on our Williams. Blessing oh. will drive and score. Oh, Adam Allen drove down the court in a two-on-one after the steal, drew the defender, kicked it to Alex Blessing, who laid it in. It's a two-point tar lead at the 445 mark. Morales crosses over, goes in the corner now to Gonzalez. Gonzalez puts his hand into Shooty and drives, and here is uh, Williams. Williams. Ari Williams now, good ball fake, but uh, Woods kept his feet. Gonzalez now will back it out with Blessing on him. Here's Williams in traffic. Throws to Feeblestad. His 15-footer will not go. Tipped up, though. No good. Tipped up again. Rebound to Durkin. That's Barueta. Oh, they're going to call a foul on Barueta. Yeah, Barueta was going up. He was on somebody's back for sure. Barueta doesn't like the call, and Eichold told him what he did. Not Barueta, give, give Barueta credit for being physical and going after, but he was... He was leaping on some backs there. He's not happy. It's a good player, Barroetta. Plays hard. 4-19. Uh, they all play hard, Barry does. 4-19 on the game clock. Tar's lead is two. Now, Shooty at the line, shooting two. It's a double bonus both ways. Big free throw, Scott. Got it. Possession error in favor of Rollins also. Barroetta still not happy about it. Still not happy about it. Oh, yeah. He, he was doing that earlier in the game, too, and getting away with the, a little jabbering at the officials. Free throw is up and good again. Uh, Scott Shooty knocks them both down. It's a four-point tar lead. Hold them, Hannah. I held them for you. This is time to play some defense. Ferralis now. Almost uh, four, three seconds, two seconds, one second. Just get it across the line. Now into the hands of Ari Williams. Williams backing it out. Tars in the 2-1-2, two, two, bringing it out a little bit higher. Ferralis was open on the baseline. They did not see him. Now they throw it to him, and he's open on the wing, and he's going to miss the three, but the rebound is going to come down to Gonzalez, and he is uh, he is going to get fouled. i tell you what, was that feeble stat went up? Jeff Durkin went up. It, it, oh, Durkin's going to get whistled. Yeah, I didn't like the call. I thought he went straight up, Durkin, and uh, that was... Uh, it looked like, like he got fouled, but Durkin was on the ball, and it was another Rollins player 
that uh, should that have gotten whistled. That was on the call the there at the 352 mark. Timeout, uh, the last media timeout, and uh, we're going to head down the stretch. Another free throw by Barry. They are 12 of 16. Rollins is 13 of 16. Tell you what, Robert, we were critical of Rollins starting out in that first four, five, six minutes of the second half, and I thought we had every reason to be the way they were handling the pressure. But, boy, credit the Tars for coming back the way they, they have down, what was it, 57 49 and basically on a 19 to yeah i think it was uh, a seven point lead for barry was uh, their largest lead uh, about uh, the 13 minute mark after they had just run off what was it, 17 to 4 something yeah like 17 that. 18 to 4 run and rollins has fought their way back in taking a four point lead here at the 352 the mark barry's going to go to the line and shoot uh, shoot two and we got some scores for you here uh, Nate Wines uh, being, being good with the scores. Uh, uh, 5.30 to go in the game. At the, at one, one of Robert Siegel's favorite, the Count and Countess DeHernley. We didn't see the Counter Countess down there. Uh, uh, St. Leo leads by 12, 60-48 with uh, 5.30 to go in regulation. And over at the Bob Martinez Center, 7.44 to go. The Nova wow. Southeastern Sharks, wow. Gary Toole, and credit their guys. They're up 22, 76-54. Gary Toole's got them going, doesn't he? Ah. Yeah. Good, oh, good times. Good you know, old they're times a pretty good with, defensive uh, team, with Tampa, with some depths. Back in the day. Oh, yeah. The, you know, that's when they used to put us up on the stage yeah, down there. They don't do right. that anymore. Do you remember we'd be up on the stage and be about nine minutes to go in regulation and the pizza would show up? <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember that. It was about 120 <laughs> feet down to the other end of the floor. It was really tough to uh -oh. see as the Gonzalez free throw goes clank off the front rim. That's Adrian Gonzalez. Don't confuse him with the baseball player. 83% shooter. He's uh, he left his thumb definitely in there. leading for freshman of the year, averaging better than 13 points. He's he had a, a 30 there. point and a 29 point as he gets the second the left-hander. Yeah, I tell you what, that's Savai Garner is now going to replace uh, him. And also back in the lineup uh, will come. Well, no, check that. Ari Williams is going to stay in the lineup. And here is Shooty. They get it back. And the driving it is, uh, we're going to have a foul. I believe Garner may have get whistle for this one. Well, I think Barry's doing us a favor. That full court press we've been talking about the whole second half. No, they're they're still in Morales, it. That's I believe. And they keep fouling, does Barry. That's two free throws now for Blessing. Alex Blessing at the 346 mark. So I think Barry doing Rollins a favor, fouling him, sending him to the line. Tars on the day from the line. 13 of 16. Four fouls now on Hill and Perales. Oh, no, front rim for Blessing. Oh, he's a 93% shooter, and he's missed both of them. Yeah, we need the free throws. Yeah, we really need him in a game like Drew this. barely Iron. Here is the second one. That's going to be long and no good. So two misses, two big misses by uh, Alex Blessig here. And uh, wide open on the side is uh, Barueta. And now we'll get the ball into the hands of Ari Williams. Baseline goes Ferales. Ferales now will spin it up. It won't go, but the rebound will come to Ferales, and he will bank it in and one. Yeah, Barry's giving the Tars right now every opportunity. That miss right there, Ferales, and then he gets it back and shoots it again. I think Ferales only three points on the day. They're leading score. Now he's got uh, yeah. he's got five. He'll go to the line and try and get his six point of the day. He's two that's of eleven the, from the field, one of six. That's the first points of the half for Juan Ferales. Uh, free throw is good. Tars, Tars let him get down low. He's only 6'2". He missed a shot and then got his own 3 rebound. 328, and we are tied. So uh, inbounds to Blessing. Blessing now will throw it to Woods. Woods now will bring it up. He's got three on one. And, oh, he'll miss the jam. And Blessing will save it. No. Into the hands of Feeblesat. So the Tars have missed a dunk and two free throws by a 93% shooter. And now the three-pointer goes up and in. And uh, Barrowetta holding his hands up with uh, no class whatsoever. Yeah, Barrowetta there gives Barry a three-point lead at the three-minute mark, and that's a 7-0 Barry run. Quick one, too, boy. They came back. The Tars uh, have really given them the opening. Down by three, under three minutes remaining. Now here's Shooty. Gives it off to Durkin. Durkin now will hand it to Adam Allen to tie the game. That's going to be well short. Rebound tipped by Durkin. He will run it down, give it off to Allen, who scores. Wow, what a play, Jeff Durkin. He tipped it to himself down the right baseline. Got it. Allen broke from the wing and gave it to him. He laid it in. Tars down one, 235 on the game clock. And here comes Ferales across the line. Puts it in the hands of Ari Williams. Boy, these uh, point guards, Williams and Hill, are very, very good. Very quick, very smart. And uh, really run the show well. Ferales now with 15 to shoot. 2.15 remaining. One point Barry lead. Over on the side. Ari Williams, top of the key. Gives it to Ferales. The ball tipped. 
but into the hands of Williams. They go baseline to Garner. His shot is no good, and a rebound goes to Durkin. Yeah, and Durkin was fouled by Fievelstad. No call. Under two to go. Tars down one with the ball. There's Blessing now. Works it to Allen. Gets it back. Top of the key to Shooty. They swing it over to Woods on the near side. Durkin now. Durkin looking right side. Will give it off to Alex. Check that. He will keep it. And now looking back door. Will hand the ball to Shooty, but... Uh, the ball is tipped away. Shooty is open. He will jack a high arcing three. Back iron, no good. Ball tipped, taken by Blessing. Blessing now will get it to Shooty. 90 seconds remaining. Shooty will take it inside. Adam Allen backing in. Allen now will go up and gets fouled. Yeah, he got fouled at Adam Allen. Brad Presentine said he made a move across the lane about three feet. Allen was going to go over his left shoulder and score, and he was fouled at the minute 24 mark. Barry 71, Rollins 70, Allen will shoot two, and boy, could we use them both oh, now. Oh, yeah. Allen has missed his only free throw. He's only 36% on the year. And the big man from Melton, the graduate student, need two right here, Adam Allen. Yes. Oh, wow, you need him. He knocks him down. Ties the game up with 84 seconds left. Williams will go out, and, uh, and Derek Hill back in. Hill transferred in from FIU. His cousin, by the way, is Frank Gore. It's two for Adam two Allen. for Adam Allen. Cool is the other side of the pillow. Tars with a one-point lead. Two, two, one, three-quarter court zone. 80 seconds left now. Here is Garner in backcourt. Garner will get it across the line. Now they pass it underneath. What a great feed and an easy layup by uh, Barouetta, who is now arguing with the officials after making a basket. <laughs> He's amazing, and we're going to have a foul on Ferralis. <laughs> Brad Presentine <laughs> called a foul, and, and Ferralis <laughs> is saying. And uh, Ferralis is upset. President uh, giving him some room. He's fouled out of the game, and uh, he's still arguing with him. Minute four to go in regulation. Tars down one at the line in the form of Mitch Wood shooting two. After uh, Ferralis laid it up on a gorgeous feed from Derek Hill, now Woods has got a chance here with two to tie it and maybe give Rollins the lead. And uh, Butch Estes uh, taking his time, putting the fifth player in. And he's thinking about that. He's got well, 30 he's only, seconds. He's only got to one do or it. two guys he's going to go to. I predict it's going to be Ari Williams over there. And that's it. And if, what are they going to do to him here? Nothing. He's yeah, going Ari the, Williams. They're going to give put up. Ari their... Williams in. And he checks into the game. Well, Mitch Woods. I guess he was trying to freeze Mitch Woods a little bit there. Need these free throws here, Robert, at the 104 mark. Tars down one. Woods at the line, shooting two. Woods normally 77%, only one of two in the game. 22 on the back of his white home uniform. Need this one to go in. Got it. Woods got it. We're knotted at 73. Get the lead here, come down, and here. get a stop. And Mitch Woods will shoot another to give, try to give Rollins the lead. Back and forth, this game is gone. Puts it up around his forehead and knocks it down. Big free throw. Mitch Woods put the pressure back on Barry. Tars lead by one. Now they got the two quick point guards in the game, both of them, Hill and Williams. That's the first time they've had both of them in. As uh, now they work at top of the key to Barouetta. Barouetta on the side to Ari Williams. Now Barouetta takes it in traffic, loses the ball, and gives it off to Blessing. Blessing now is going to call a timeout. And uh, we're going to have, who is that over there? I don't know. Yeah, they had a timeout the called, and uh, it was uh, Ari Williams trying to jack the ball away from Blessing well after the whistle. What was the call there? He called timeout. I guess there's timeout. Uh, Jeff Eichholz went running to the scorer's table. I, I didn't see he made he 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 gave him some. Yeah, they called timeout. Okay, I mean, timeout on the floor. Then, then uh, Williams grabs the ball. The possession error in favor of Rollins. 45 seconds on the clock. There's a there's a 12 second differential. Game clock, shot clock. Tars with the ball. Uh, you would think in this situation, you would think Barry's just going to play good solid yeah, defense no, and let yeah, Rollins absolutely. run yeah. it all the way down. So too it's much gonna, too much time between the game here's clock. A deal, and here's the, the deal, clock. though, Robert. You and I talk about this all. We talk about this all the time. Don't come down and run this thing down to nothing and don't get a good shot. Let's forget about the game clock. Let's forget about the shot clock and let's get a good shot. Right? You got it. I agree. And, 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 and I you've been saying I agree. Do not run this thing down to where you don't get a good shot. You know Barry what I'm will have it. Huh? That. They, 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 
quite often take it down to 10 for some reason <laughs> and then end up with a falling away 25-footer. Yeah. Yeah, I say take the first best good shot that you All normally right, they're would. They're going to put on pressure in backcourt now. Now they set a screen, and here's Woods with the basketball. Gives it back to Shooty. Shooty almost losing the handle on it. Now they get it to Blessig. Blessig turns it up court in a hurry, and he's going to be double teamed and lose the basketball. What is he doing uh, over there? Pick that up. Here goes. Oh, here comes the pass to Feeblestat. Oh, he goes right back into the hands of Barrowetta. Thirty seconds on the clock. Cars down one now. What a play by Barry to tip that back to the guy who laid it in. Now they're going to run it. Now they're down one point. The Tars. Now they get it off to Blessig. Blessig down to Woods. Woods now has the ball stolen away. Oh, my goodness. Now they got a foul. They got to foul somebody. Rollins foul absolutely Woods losing, it, losing it here late in the game. Just I mean, absolutely lost the handle as Blessig dribbled right in front of the bench over there with two guys chasing him and had he the ball tipped away. He had to know they were behind him. Yeah, I know. And he should have stopped him, just picked up the ball. I know. And Alex Blessing yeah. kept going down, and it was tipped away from behind. And Barry went down and laid it in in a phonetic fashion, in frenetic fashion. And now Barry's at the line again, shooting free throws with 12 seconds to go. Shot clock is off. And all you can hope for now is bar weight. 58% shooter, but uh, he's shooting two of them, and the first one goes off the front rim. So the Tars are in business. 12 and a half seconds to go. I, I'm, I'm sure they have some timeouts. I don't know if they're going to That ball was one. saved in bounds and right to Barrowetta, who laid it in. His second free throw is good. And timeout by Barry as the Tars are now down two, and they have 12.4 seconds left. Yeah. I saw Tampa against Florida Southern with 11.7. They inbounded the ball, and the point guard was walking it up. It was like a chance to win the game. He ended up throwing up about a 26-footer on the right side. I can't understand. you got to hustle it up and get something quick here. You don't have time. That it's was 12.4. Tampa lost a five-point lead with 37 seconds to go. And Florida Tech over there lost. You know what we call that in the business, points. Robert? We call that snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. 12 seconds to go here at the Warden Arena. Tars now find themselves down two on the heels of a couple turnovers here late that are just, just killers. Stars are up, uh, were up by a point a moment ago and had the ball coming up court with a 12 second difference shot clock game. I clock. like what Alex Blessing did bringing the ball up the court. He just has to know they're coming from behind Absolutely. to tip it away. Absolutely. I'm, I'm surprised as well as he's been playing. And now with a two point disadvantage, the Tars need a bucket to tie. A three pointer would give them the lead. And uh, you know there's going to be pressure, and you know these officials aren't going to blow the whistle unless blood is drawn. Typically the way it goes, yeah. Typically you don't find gold in this conference, in this in this division, in this conference. Now what you do you don't do find here? gold Barry, going to the rim here. They won't call the foul. Barry is going to put on their full court press, which has actually worked uh, so very well for them in this game. And uh, a foul, of course, would be two shots. It's a double bonus. Yeah, the good news is we could score off this press. What was that? I can't hear. Came over and said, nice to see us again. We appreciate yeah. that from our <laughs> lead official, Mr. Brad Preston. And uh, Barry and a man to man, full court. Him, full court, full court pressure. Woods and Blessing run into each other. And now they're going to get it off to Blessing. No, they're not. It's a five second call. How, how, how is that five seconds? I cannot believe that. That's amazing. How is that five seconds? I have no idea. Now uh, they're going to talk about it. Man, he says a five-second call. Oh, man. Did that seem like five seconds to you? No. No. Boy, that's something you just don't see. No, 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 no. We saw that down at uh, Lynn. Frank Raposo took away an opportunity for us to tie the game, and now Jeff Eicholtz hits us with a high school call. Wow. I mean, that's got to be egregious in that situation to call that. Yeah. <laughs> now, what First happened, of all, I don't even happened, think it was five seconds. What happened was Woods and uh, Blessing ran into each other when they were trying to set a screen, and that delayed their ability to get open. Now, of course, if they don't intercept the inbounds pass, uh, they're going to have to foul. Robert, that's and, a high school uh, call. Yeah. It's a high school call. It's not a good call. Savad Garner now will be in the game. And uh, Savad Garner's a 55% shooter, so he would be the one that you would want to foul, obviously. They put Gonzalez back in. He's an 83% shooter. Now they're going to inbound the basketball. 
and they're going to look for Gonzalez. And now they're going to get a timeout. He was looking for the five-second call. And Mitch was, says it was five. No, it Jeff Eichold says that was four. I think Brad Presentine down here, if you show him, I think he's embarrassed to be a part of what's going on here at the end of the game by Eichold. He's holding the basketball as Presentine. He's the senior man on the deal, and I, that's just my gut on the thing, just watching his expression and watching Eichold take over here. Yeah, that was not five seconds, however, when the timeout was called. And you're right in front of the bench over there. The coach can be counting in his head. And I think they're out of timeouts is what I think we do. know. they got one more left. Okay. Um, the Tars trying, obviously, to either steal the inbounds pass or foul one of the uh, poor free throw shooters, and that would be Garner at 55%. Let's see if they put him back in the game. And uh, Gonzalez is in. Feeble stout of the other, putting Garner back in, but Garner will be inbounding the ball. Now the Tars will set up, and uh, they're going to try to get the ball inbounds, and uh, they're going to foul. And they're going to foul a good free throw shooter in Ari Williams. Well, actually, on the year, he's six of nine, as that was pretty darn close to five seconds, wasn't it? Yeah, 11 seconds on the Oh, clock. you know what? Do you know what Coach Klusman is saying? He's he saying that he traveled. Yeah, he moved from the spot. You can't move from that spot. I mean, you've got a pivot foot. But uh, I did not see that because players were running around in front of us. And uh, Jeff Eicholtz is over talking to Brad Pressenden about that. We saw that call made here recently. Yeah, it was the correct call when we saw it. Yeah, the, 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 the player ran all the way down the sidelines. Now, this time, uh, Ari Williams at the line. Only his 10th free throw of the year, and that one's up and good. This one can pretty much cinch, cinch the game. I don't know about Uly that. If Rollins can come Allen. back here and get a two or three here in a three or four seconds, it's still a game. But like you, like you said, you're, you're in a world of hurt. As uh, the Tars have not scored since the 242 mark. This one can be a make it a two-possession game. Bends his knees and knocks it down. And into the ball game will come uh, Barroetta. And... Uh, Shooty will inbound the basketball. Tars down four, 11.1 seconds left. And we're going to have a foul uh, with no clock running. No, they're going to call it on uh, Blessing. <laughs> Jeff wow. Eicholtz wanted to make sure and finish us off. Well, he, he did. Uh, that about does it, doesn't it? That becomes a game about the officials. It was all about I, the officials at the end. I didn't see that one. Not saying it didn't happen, but it didn't see it. It was uh, Where do you away ever from see the action. That? Where do you gonna, ever see that? Now they're going to throw the ball in bounds. Al Mula's they're going to give it off to Shooty. And Shooty is going to be fouled uh, by uh, Derek Hill. So he'll shoot two with 7.9 seconds left. And, uh, I that, think right here you're going to be the fifth foul on Derek Hill. Having a great game. Hill with seven free throws early in the half when they put the pressure on will end up with a dozen points in the game, seven assists. We have to overcome the wrath here in eight seconds of Jeff Eicholtz to try and pull this one out at the eight-second mark. Got to get free throws here at the beginning. Shooting really first is good. It's a three-point game. Five for five on the game. He's looking for his ninth point. So he can cut it to a two-point game. Let's see if the Tars can do that. Actually, you might, uh, you're going to say, you might want to miss it and shoot the three-pointer, and now we're going to have the foul as... Uh, Ari Williams is fouled. Ari Williams with now seven will seconds shoot. to go. He just knocked down two of them, and he will go to the other end of the floor. As uh, Williams now will uh, shoot two. Mitch Woods staring down Jeff Eicholtz. <laughs> Sam, a few words with him. Mitch is not usually one to talk to the officials. <laughs> I don't think he's real happy about the situation here. And again. Williams now will fire it up and miss. Wow, there's the break you need. You got a chance to make a three. There's a world of time, seven seconds. Almula out, Durkin out. Two three-point shooters come into the game. I think the best Allen chance. And Uly. I think the best chance for Rollins to get a good look at three is for Barry to press. Hopefully yeah, they will. Probably the best chance would be for him to make this one. As uh, here goes the free throw to make it a three-point game. He does. And we're going to have a timeout by. Uh, 
Timeout by uh, Barry. And uh, now, do you foul? Oh, if I'm if I'm the Barry, if I'm Butch Estes, I absolutely foul. I got a rule about that, but uh, some coaches don't. Uh, I absolutely foul. And not only that, it, it, you know, I don't want to foul right away. I want him to get the ball, dribble up the court a little bit, foul him oh, further in the yeah, act, yeah. and eat, eat up about uh, two or three seconds. And I think that's probably what they're over there talking about. Barry is a plus ten in this half, by the way. Uh, Hill and Ferales have fouled out for uh, Barry. And the Tars with... You know what, uh, Robert? I, I always think these are foul situations, but I've sort of changed in my thought. You know, I know you hate the NBA game. I don't I don't love it either. But in the NBA, it's a lot tougher to foul because they get it up at half court, they throw it in, and the guy immediately goes into the act of shooting. In college, they got to go the length of the court. You, you can foul them anywhere you want. Yeah, except away from the ball a lot of times. They ain't going to call that here. Now it's uh, Rollins to inbound it at the far end with Scott Schutte. They've got Yuli and the I just get the, the feeling Barry's not going to foul. Yeah, it kind of looks that way. And now they're going to throw it to Adam Allen. Adam Allen now. And we're going to look for a foul. They've got a foul. Yeah, As feeble staff fouled foul Adam, Adam Allen at the 4.2 second mark. Probably a pretty good foul. I yeah, think it is a good foul. No question about it. If you're Adam Allen here, I think you make one and then and then you probably miss. Would you agree? Yeah. Well, he's got to make one first. I Colts was coming over here to put the ball inbounds on the side. Yeah, the, uh, you know, this guy. I, I think he should look at some of the calls he made here in the last few minutes. Anyway, this first one's got to go in. Allen's free throw is good. I think right here, Tom and uh, uh, Klusman and Brad Ash are talking. They want timeout, you know, and, and they're thinking what we're thinking. You got to, you know, this is, where you, this is where you miss a guy like a Lucas Swingarner, Robert. Yeah, the big guy. Yeah, with long 6'9". You're going to miss the free throw. You're going to put all your big guys in there and try and get some kind of tip where you can get a shot. You're listening to WPRK 91.5 FM, Winter Park, Florida, and to Rollins College Basketball around the world on RollinsSports.com. An exciting day here at the uh, Tar Pit. The women, 11-point winner earlier over a good Barry team, and the men here with a 7-point lead at the half, but uh, caved in early to Barry pressure, then came back. And it has been nip and tuck the rest well, of the I'll way. Well, I tell you what, I thought we were in business, came up the court. Not only did we turn it over, I thought Barry was going to run down and turn it over again. Feeble stat I didn't think was going to be able to get to it. He dives out of bounds underneath the basket yep. and tips it back to Barweta underneath the basket to take a lead. I, I don't, Not only him, saves it, but right to the right wide to open him under, under, the, under the basket with about, I don't know what was left, 20, 30 seconds and gave him the lead. And it went from a turnover and a tie score to Barry had the lead. And we just been... Bad. Then we then we had to overcome the wrath of Jeff Eicholtz and all that five second call and here we go and uh, Allen uh, now with Yuli and Durkin inside there on the rebounding situation think, they don't they only have uh, I think you missed a yeah. second here I think Adam Allen's going to miss it I think that's going to try time to tip is. it out to Shooty or to uh, Mitch Woods I'd like but he's to got to hit the rim. Obviously, and here he's going to do. He's going to hit the rim, and he gets the ball into the hands of Shooty. Oh, that oh. shot looked good. It goes out of bounds off Durkin, I believe. It's Rollins' ball with .9 oh, seconds to go. Oh, my goodness. I thought Durkin Shooty had a look on the baseline, but he was behind uh, the backboard. They're going to have to go to some type of inbound play. Brad Ash calling it out. Yep. And here it is. Uh, they throw it away. Looking for Mitch Woods driving in, and uh, Butch is very to form happy. It to Tried to try to pass it to Mitch Woods and and there was no he was not wow. open. Wow, Tars had two opportunities there. The free throw was missed nicely, and uh, Shooty got it on the baseline. Could not.